was that uh, just shots not going, the shots you got, or what? what yeah, it seems like shots not going. Uh, I thought Jabari got a good look. We got a couple good looks in the paint. Scoop, I think, had a good shot, good look. Jalen got in there and got a little uh, swallowed up. And there was another play. I forget who it was, but we drove it kind of towards the rim, and it looked like we may have got bumped and missed. But uh, I was proud of our effort, and, you know, when a guy is able to shoot 22 free throws, it, it makes it tough. Coach, can you um, talk about the first half defensive performance that you guys hit on Luca? It seemed like um, when he was attacking downhill, that's when you guys really, like, closed in the lane. Yeah, I mean, I thought we did a good job on him the whole game. I mean, the the, the issue was the fouls and the, the – it will, I don't have enough money to get fined. <laughs> so I'll just stop there. Well, since you broached that subject, can you challenged the Powell foul for yeah. being in the circle. Can that be reviewed by the officials without no. a challenge? No. Only at the end of the game? Yeah. So. So, yeah, so I had to use my, yeah. What's the message to the guys tonight after a frustrating, you know, fourth quarter? The message was if we continue to play the way that we played, especially in the first three quarters and even in the fourth quarter at some level, like we were engaged, we were moving the ball, we were playing with force, we were getting the ball up the floor quickly. We did a lot of good things, so we got to just build on those. We talk about the ball movement. How encouraging is it to see kind of you know the struggles last game with the turnovers coming to this game? Better ball security, better ball movement just across the board. For, for the sure. I mean, ten ten turnovers is is great, especially against a very good defensive team. And uh, you know the things that hurt us last time uh, against them didn't hurt us quite as bad this time. So we obviously, through experience, learned a, a little bit, and we're right there at the very end. There was a pretty long stretch in the fourth quarter of kind of dump downs off to Shangun. Is that something that you guys are making a concerted effort on? And how do you think he handled those doubles also? I thought he did a great job against the double teams. He read when they were coming, they came quick, and we were getting the ball moving out of the double teams. That was another play that we had in the fourth quarter as a double team. Um, pass it out to Scoop, pass it to Eric, and Eric went downhill. And, um, you know, they – Defended a, defended him at the rim, um, but yeah, I thought we did. He did a good job against the double teams. He, he was able to read when they weren't doubling. He made uh, really good plays on the uh, offensive end for his teammates. Uh, got some fouls that were, you know, fouls. There was a there was a moment there late in in, in fourth quarter where Shingun got a mismatch and Kevin had Christian Wood also on the perimeter mm -hmm. drawing kind of drew him back out, but made the decision to get LP the ball in the post rather than you know ex teammate Christian Wood late in the game one point difference you know he could have chosen to go that route and try to score the ball and so how big are those moments when you see Kevin making those correct reads to, to get the ball to LP like that? Those moments are huge and that'll be a moment that's shown on film the. Tomorrow. I mean, they're, they're moments to build on. They're moments that show trust between teammates. They're moments to bring a group together. So, yeah, that was great. Showing that tomorrow and others, the give and go that Kevin scored on. Yeah, so, yeah. It, is that the difference? <clears throat> you, this team, Mavericks, they know what they're going to run in the last five minutes more as well as any team in the league. Are you guys trying to find it out, what to run, how, what's best? We are trying to find find what to run and recognize zone versus man and know who to go to and when and all those things. And, you know, I remember early when we were in uh, Dallas, it wasn't so automatic. Um, but they got to the point where they are now, and that's, that's what happened to us. Coach, can you talk about what you have seen from Kevin Porter Jr. over this past week? It seemed like he's just a lot more poised than what we saw before. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, he's, he's definitely found a comfort level on the floor. I'm playing him a bunch of minutes, 41 tonight. Um, but he is looking for his teammates, but also being aggressive for himself. Um, he has the ball the majority of the time. 
And when you have the ball that much, there comes a a lot of responsibility, and he loves to have that responsibility, takes it on his shoulders. And, um, you know, he took 20 shots tonight, which is good for him if he's going to play 41 minutes and and, uh, have six assists and three turnovers and play the way that he did. So, yeah, he's coming along. He had some shots, some catch-and-shoot shots that I know he wanted. throughout the game, two for nine, but um, overall he's really been playing well. I'm proud of him. Over this most recent stretch, what are you seeing in the, <clears throat> kind of the evolving two the game between Kevin and, and Alpine? Yeah, um, it, it's very dependent on who we're playing against and how they're playing us, you know. Um, tonight there were times where we were trying to attack the five and then there were other times where um, we had to use the four man to, to get into action, but for us to get to where we want to get to, it's going to be Jalen and um, Alpie playing well and Scoot and Alpie playing well together. All three of those guys playing well together. And then, um, you know, I thought Eric played a really good game tonight. Very aggressive. Did a good job on the defensive end. We were looking for him. He didn't get lost. Um, in the offense, and I was I was proud of the way that he played, and then Jabari as well. I thought Jabari played uh, a very good game. Had a tough, tough, tough matchup on Luca throughout most of the game, and made him shoot tough shots. I mean, he's ten for twenty six. So, um, yeah, it, it's the to answer your question, the Scoot Alpi pick and roll is important, but it's only important in the context of the five that are on the floor.